Hi, boys and girls. Today, we are going to be making some Chiefs themed artwork in honor of the Chiefs going to the Super Bowl. Um, we are going to be making Casey Wolf, the mascot of the team. And for this project, you're going to need paper, something black to draw with, like a Sharpie, some crayons, and some markers. We are going to start off by drawing Casey Wolf. And if you'd like to draw this part in pencil first and then trace over it, you can. We want to start kind of near the top of the page, but in the center here. We want to leave room for his ears, but we're going to draw a line that curves over like this, the top of his head. Then we're going to draw his cheeks kind of curving out to the side. And we don't want to go all the way to the side, so we want to leave some room for his fur. And when I draw this line, I'm going to curve around like the letter C, but I'm going to stop short so that these two lines do not touch each other. Then I'll draw Casey Wolf's mouth kind of in the center here. I'm going to make another line that curves under like a U. And I want this line to go right between the two I've got. I'm going to make sure those connect. And then I'll draw little curved lines on the end to make his smile. Now we'll put Casey Wolf's nose down here at the end of his snout. So I'll draw a nice big oval there. And if you want to add some extra detail, we can add two little squares inside of his nose that can be highlights to make his nose look shiny. So what I'll do is fill in his nose black, but leave those squares white. So they look like the light, it looks like the light is reflecting off of his nose. All right, next I'm gonna draw kind of the part that divides his face from a gr the gray section of fur from the white section of fur. So I wanna start over here kind of on his cheek and I'm gonna draw three curved lines. One that curves kind of straight over, one that's gonna dip down and touch the nose, and then a third line like that one that curves kind of straight over. <laughs> Up here, inside of this first curved line we drew, we'll draw two large ovals for the eyes. And if you've ever seen Casey Wolf dancing around, you'll know that his eyes are kind of googly. They can bounce all over the place. So it might be kind of fun to make his eyes look like they're in two different places, like they're rolling around in his on his head. And I left a little white dot unfilled so I could have a highlight on the eyes as well. Next, I'm gonna draw his ears. So I'll start near the top of the head, but slightly to the left here to draw the first ear. And I wanna go all the way up to the top of the page with the diagonal line, and then kind of curve over and come all the way down to this corner. And I'll repeat that step on the other side. Inside of those large triangle shapes, I'll draw smaller ones. And I'm just kind of barely curving the tip of my triangles to make them a little bit round. Now, Casey Wolf usually wears a chief's hat. So I'm gonna draw another curved line here between his ears to make his hat, which we'll color in later. And he's also very furry, so we need to add his fur. I'm gonna start by drawing his neck down here. I'm going to start kind of on the bottom of his cheek here with the diagonal line, same line on the other side, and across the bottom, I'll draw a zigzag line. This is where his fur kind of peeks up over his jersey. And then I'll draw his shoulders about halfway down the neck, just kind of curving and going off the page. Next, I'm going to draw the fur around the sides of his cheeks. So I'm going to start kind of near the bottom of the ear here. And I'm going to draw a zigzag line that goes all the way around the cheek without touching and connects to his neck. And I'll repeat that step on the other side. All right, our Casey Wolf drawing is complete, and now we just need to color him. Now, um, on this project, we'll kind of focus a bit on texture because we know that Casey Wolf has lots of furry texture on him. So I'm gonna use my crayons for this part and I'm gonna find a gray crayon and a black crayon for coloring Casey Wolf. And the first thing I'll do is color this area of his face kind of around his eyes here above these three curved lines with my gray, but I'm gonna color really lightly because I want to be able to go back over this and add some texture to make them look fuzzy. Okay. 
and I try to color along my edges so that I don't go outside of my lines. Now I'm also gonna fill in the large part of his ears, this big triangle here, with this same kind of light value of gray. And on the insides of his ears, I'm gonna color it a little bit darker so it looks like there's a shadow. So I'm just filling that in and I'm pressing a lot harder. I'm using the same crayon, just pressing harder, putting more pressure on my crayon to create a darker value. All right, so now on his face, I'm gonna press hard this time with the same gray crayon and I'm gonna add texture lines. So little short vertical lines not matching them up in perfect rows because I want it to look like fur. And I'm gonna fill this whole space down to his nose. And I'll do the same technique on his ears. And you could do the same thing with pencil. If for some reason you don't have crayons, you could use colored pencils. You could even do this with marker, though you'd have to use two different colors, like maybe gray and then black. Now his neck is going to be the same gray. So I'm gonna fill his neck in with that light gray first and then go over it with my dark gray texture lines. I'm working really hard to try to keep my crayon inside my zigzag lines. And once I fill in this area, I'll go over it with those dark texture lines. Remember, if I'm going too fast, and I probably am, you can pause the video every time you need some more time to finish a step. All right, now with my black crayon, I'm gonna color this fur on the side of Casey Wolf's face because it is a lot darker, but I'm gonna color lightly. So I'm making a light value of black. I'm not coloring as hard as I can. Now the final touch I'll add with my black crayon is those little whisker marks here on the side of his nose. I'm just gonna draw some super tiny black dots and you could use your Sharpie for this too. Right in there, kind of the nice little rows along, along the, the side of his nose. Now I'm ready to color his clothes. Now you can color his clothes in any way you like. Um, I'm gonna use, I think I'm gonna use, ye you could use yellow, you could use red, you could do, you know, kind of make it look like he's wearing a Chiefs jersey. You could put stripes or different colors on there. I think I'm gonna color his jersey yellow. I'm just gonna go for a solid color here but you could do all kinds of things. Stripes, you could draw an arrowhead on there. You could even write on it. You could put a number on there. Usually his jersey is red and it has a KC arrowhead on the front. Now for my background, I'm gonna switch to markers after I color his jersey and his hat. And I'm going to do kind of a, a neat tie-dye background with markers and water. But if you don't have markers, 
you can use crayons for that part too. Now his hat is usually red, so I'm gonna go ahead and color it red here. I don't have a great red crayon, so I'm gonna use this one. It's kind of close. All right, <clears throat> now for my background, I'm gonna use some red and yellow markers. And I'm just going to kind of use the side of the marker here to draw in some sections of red. And I don't want to draw on Casey Wolf, but I want to draw all around him. And I don't want to leave a whole lot of white space. I'm going to leave some, but not a lot. So I'm trying to put these pretty close together. And then I'm going to go back through and do yellow. Now I want to be careful not to let my yellow and my red touch because then when I do add my water to kind of blend it, I'll get a lot of orange. I don't want that. All right, I think that's enough. So next I'm gonna take my water with my paintbrush and I'm just gonna do a quick swipe over my colors. I don't wanna add too much water. I don't want to get a puddle. And every once in a while, I'm going to kind of stop and clean my brush so that I don't mix too much of my yellow and red. And I'm kind of going over my red areas first. So I'm going for a little bit of a tie dye effect. So I do want my red and yellow to kind of mix a little bit, but not too much. That's why I'm only painting back and forth. Now I'm gonna clean off my brush and go back through and kind of blend my yellow so it's touching the red. If I get red on there, I'm gonna stop and clean my brush so I don't get too much orange. And there is my finished Casey Wolf, and I can't wait to see how yours turned out.